Okay, so we've made some progress here. So all of my one inch lines to my mana block are complete. So right now the cold is on and this goes all the way around the room over past the meter, that's where the meter comes in. It goes all the way up, over here, down and in. So it's one big loop. So temporarily, um, because I do not have the venting hooked up yet or the condensate lines hooked up for this yet. So, and I have not filled any of this or leak tested it past that um, valve, the cold water valve, where the where the water will enter the hot water system. So I still have a couple joints on the recirc line back behind there that still need to be soldered, and then I need to put a 90 in and come up and, and 90 into this, cut that top one off. So today, tomorrow, I'll get that done. And then I'm going to start on the venting. But in the meantime, I needed hot water. So I uh, used my isolation valves and shut off, um, I cut the PEX, the old PEX that was here, shut off these valves. I, I had the caps laying around, so I put them on there just in case. And then I opened up the isolation valves. So right now I'm pulling cold water from here, and I'm actually feeding it back into the recirc line. Um, I could have done either one, but these are both off, so it stops, the water stops here. I, I hooked one up here just to purge the air out of the line, um, but this is hot water. So when this is all done, what will eventually happen is the hot water will come in on the top here from, from the mixing valve underneath there. And it'll be set to 120 degrees, uh, safe temperature for the kids, and that'll come in here, and it'll come up, and it can go, it can do one of two things. It can go to the fixtures, or it can recirc back to the tank, and that'll all be controlled by that pump and that aquastat. And that aquastat sensor is long enough where I'm going to run that all the way to right here. So I will be sensing the water pretty much right here, which is pretty close to, I mean, if it's on its way back, if it's 120 degrees here, or a little less, you know, I'll keep the recirc at 118 or something so that it, it uh, obviously will shut off. Otherwise, it'll be running all the time because it can't get more than 120 out of that valve. But it'll take a little bit to get this all dialed in. But uh, once it's all dialed in, put that sensor here. My recirc line should be hot all the time uh, during the hours that I set on that smart switch over there. So right now I've got the tankless plugged in there, the old tankless. This will be gone and that aquastat will be plugged into that switch and I'll set it up to run, you know, Monday through Friday, um, five in the morning till eight in the morning and then you know the evening when we're here and it won't run during the day when we're not here it won't run at night and then probably on Saturdays and Sundays I might just leave it on all the time uh, the aquastat's going to shut it off so it's not like the pump's going to be running 24 7 so and it's just recirculating the 130 degree water that's in the tank so if I insulate these lines which I may do you know, as long as there's really not a huge heat loss here, um, it's just going to recirc the tank. It might never even fire the tankless units uh, to do the recirc. They might never even turn on. If if it can recirc that tank for 12 hours and it only drops a degree or two, then why fire the, the tankless units every single time you have to recirc, you know? That's one of the, the reasons I wanted the tank. So... Another reason, same exact kind of deal is going on with the basement humidifier. I have another pump over there, and that will just recirc the tank only when the furnace is on. So when the furnace is on, even if the even if the thermostat isn't calling for the humidifier to be on, it, it'll it'll just recirc every time the heat's on. This will recirc. I mean, it's a good way to prevent the water in the lines from going stale and 
it's all good. It's I don't think there's going to be a big loss there. So, yeah, we're getting there. Um, it's a little wet back there because I when I pulled off some of these lines, I you know some of the water went everywhere, but it'll dry up. So tomorrow, um, I'm thinking I'm going to take out this three inch vent right here from the from the old tankless which goes through the wall up there and out. Of course, it's all insulated in there nicely. But uh, what I'm gonna do is try to get that out of there. I think it's gonna be tough because of the foam and everything, but take that out, drill the hole bigger to four and a half, which is what I need for the new concentric vent kit, and try to get that concentric vent kit in and run to this first heater here. So these will come up, they'll come over here, and then they'll they'll pick up the exhaust and intake for that concentric vent. Um, for in the time being, we can still have hot water. This will just draw from the house instead of drawing from the outside. Um, I don't see that as a huge deal for you know a couple of weeks or if that. I could if I could get these vents in. I have the clear PVC for the condensate. Uh, supposed to be here Monday, and I've got a bunch of fittings ready and stuff here to for the uh, condensate lines. You know, that's all easy PVC stuff. I could knock that out in a couple hours. Um, I mean, theoretically, as long as there's no leaks, which I've already pressure tested all of the primary loop stuff. I know there's no leaks anywhere in here up to this valve. None of this, none of this. The heat exchangers don't leak. So the only thing that really could leak is the tank, you know, all these unions, I gotta give them the, the thread and dope treatment. Any of my piping back here on the tank side, you know, all of this is new and none of this has really been checked. So uh, once this is done, so as long as I don't have any leaks and I can fill that thing and I have, you know, one of the vents done, I'll probably, unlink them for now or just leave this unit off so that uh, it's only using one and then um, then once I'm on one of them with my domestic I no longer need this I can take this out the whole thing pull out that stainless steel this old uh, z-vent gas and I'm gonna use that hole for this unit with another concentric vent kit so that'll come in come over intake exhaust will go out there so i'll have unit number two going out there unit number one going out there and uh then i can fire them both up and let them let them run let them handle uh what they're gonna do then next step once this is off the wall i can put a sheet of, of wood up there which i already have and uh, mount my snow melt manifolds and start to tie in all of these loops into the manifolds right there you know and once that's all out of the way it's just a matter of of running the copper for each of these zones i did buy the manifold for this even though i have no plans right now running all that pex into the the old part of the you know the original part of the house not the addition um but I wanted the manifold there so I could get it all plumbed in and then someday I'll just install that and purge that manifold and uh, do that later. But at least the manifold's in, it matches these. I can get it all piped the right way. And uh, yeah, so zone one here is gonna be the, um, the slabs. So that's just this manifold down here. Zone two is gonna be these two manifolds together. But for the now, it's just going to be the one. And then zone three back there will be the snowmelt zo uh, loop zones or manifolds, which is two of them, uh, two seven ports. So, and yeah, once this is done, all I need to do really, I know this is good. I just need to pick up here where I left off um, with my supply and come up right in front of this and come over with my header. And then I can mount my three, you know, my check valves, my shutoff valves, my check valves, my T's, my Bellino valves in the return, my pumps, and then I'm good. But that's all, should go pretty quick, I would think. 
um, you know, this running all of this stuff and measuring and cutting and all of this was just, this took a while to get this all, uh, you know, get this all planned out so that it turned out like this. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited that, uh, this is, this is good. We're at 55 pounds coming in. Uh, the water authority still has to come and replace my meter. And, uh, yeah, we're getting there. So anyway, thanks for watching.